ba -ba -boo Today, we're gonna watch and rank every time the Joker and Harley Quinn sing ever in all of media. And just so you know, some of them, they're bops. You see, Joker Foley A Dox uh, is a musical, but I don't know if the Joker's even any good at singing, so I'm gonna go back and find out. I'm gonna judge each of these performances based on does it sound good? That's a big one for me. How good a singer is the voice actor? Are the lyrics smooth and not forced? Does the song feel important or does it evoke excitement or emotion? And last but not least, how are the visuals? So right off the bat, <laughs> get it? Batman. <laughs> so yeah, right off the bat, two are basically bits. They're like 10 seconds each. Burning the people within. Harley Qu That's it? Injustice Harley Quinn song is slightly higher because it has some kind of emotional impact to Harley. But honestly, I kind of want to put Lego Joker in front just because, you know, he's genuinely my hero and stuff. I've got the whole world in my pants. So these two are kind of interchangeable. Anyways, moving on. Jingle bells, Batman smells. Okay. Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel and the Joker got away! Oh! The Christmas trees are rocket shit! Okay, so ninth best has to be Batman the Animated Series Joker Christmas Carol. Similar to the last two, this is more of a bit, but the difference is, it kind of sounds good for a second. La, 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 la. I would have actually placed this song much higher if the whole Jingle Bells Batman Smells thing originated in this episode because that is so iconic at this point, but it didn't. I did research this time. I think the villains were made up for this episode. I and I found out that that song actually existed as far back as like 1948, which is crazy. But all that to say, this episode didn't invent the song and therefore it doesn't get the credit. So yeah, ninth place. Not too bad though. But it would be bad if you didn't subscribe. And you know what? Aren't we all just trying to be a little bit good every day? Be good. Subscribe to Lil Quasar. That's me. Subscribe to me, please, now. Thank you. Here's your host, the Ace oh. Leaves, the Clown Prince of Crime, Joker. Huh? Ah, shit. I'm late for my 8 o'clock. Tonight's the night we celebrate the bad guys. Throw those hands up in the sky! Yeah, well, the sky. sky! Okay, so here's the thing about me. I want to get us to a personal level. Um, I don't like this Harley Quinn show. <laughs> it's not for me. I watched the first, like, two seasons years ago, and I forgot all of it. <laughs> I don't think it's much to write home about. But I do think this bit is... A little funny. <laughs> the voice actor, Alan Tudyk, delivered the song pretty well. It's like he's confident, but he also sounds really bad and disjointed. And basically, he's just talking the whole time. So he does a really good job. Like, at times, he literally just ignores the melody. Like Joker do. Like Joker do is also pretty funny. Good job. Good job, writers. I also like the bit where he starts smack talking the crowd with the most playground insults you've ever heard. But it still cuts so deep at the same time. So he's Bane. Too bad he sucks. <laughs> oh man, Bane's catching strays. Bad song on purpose, but it's sort of funny. So yeah, uh, respectable. I feel like I called this show funny too often. I actually don't like it. But this bit, it's it's well done. Okay, after this point, everything kind of gets really close, actually. They're actually half decent. What the hell? A flat. Batman the Animated Series Harley Quinn singing moment is uh, probably the most subdued song on the list. Until you poisoned my food. Which offered some opportunity to get some really nice vocal performances. When you kicked me in the park. But unfortunately, I don't think this song really delivers on that. But I don't mind it. The voice actor is clearly more focused on being Harley Quinn rather than singing really well. Try to just figure my place. Which, you know, that's probably the right place. She's the voice actor. What do I know? But it does just mean it doesn't rank quite as high on this list because it just doesn't sound super great. This is not an original song. Uh, it, it is all from a old song. Here it is on the screen. I didn't write it in the script. I checked to see if the lyrics were altered at all to, you know, match Harley Quinn and Joker's relationship, and they're not. Until you poison my food. It's just 
it's a really good song choice, which is cool. However, a problem with this song is that it doesn't come from the heart. Harley Quinn doesn't really think everything she's saying. I watched the episode to make sure, and yeah, she purely just sings this to distract the goons from uh, Robin, who's sneaking around in the background to free Batman. So yeah, it, it sort of removes the importance of the song. The visuals don't really add much, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like a standard Batman the Animated Series episode, but uh, you know, that's great. What? No, I'm joking. Uh, animated characters don't do anything for me, bro. Hey, you're kind of freaky if they do. Like, someone literally drew this, bro. Probably a guy as well. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Anyways, yeah, seventh place, not too bad. Hanging on the telephone by Holly Quinn from Batman and Holly Quinn. So this one sounds good, but rough. I feel like the mixing is weird here. Uh, any music heads watching uh, confirm that? I don't know. It sounds weird though. Maybe I'm weird. This movie hasn't got great reviews, so I kind of get the impression that they just didn't try that hard. <laughs> but anyways, Hanging on the Telephone is not an original song. And at first you might think, yeah. This makes sense. Holly is waiting to be called back by the Joker and is getting desperate. So yeah, that that's the dynamic, right? But what if I told you Joker isn't even in this movie? What the hell is the song for? I don't think it's for anything. I think they just got a song that was easy to get the license for and uh, chucked it in the movie. Uh, honestly, I do. <laughs> it also doesn't help that I, uh, you know what? I, I don't really like the song that much. It feels sort of one note the whole time. The one note is pretty good, but nonetheless, Pretty one note. It feels like there's a fair bit of passion behind it, which is why it's above the rest, but it never goes any further for me. The visuals also do totally nothing for me. We've been over this. I'm doubling down. The visuals are actually straight up bad in this. Why is Nightwing dancing like that? They did like three frames. I'm sorry. I respect all animators and the studio probably made you do this. He's not the Joker. Where's the Joker? Nobody's it's the Joker! Now we got the Joker singing in Batman Arkham Knight. So I don't think this song necessarily sounds better than the last, but it was clearly more carefully considered. The Asylum. <laughs> it's an original song first off, and it really gets into the psyche of Batman and the result of killing the Joker. You're part of me, I'm part of you. And now there's nothing left to do. Also, the song does sound pretty good. The jazz strikes are nice, and Mark Hamill does some cool things with his voice to draw you in sometimes. It was wild, but through it all, you never smile. I think it could go harder at parts, but still, not bad. Okay, here we got our first live action Joker singing. This is from the original 1966 Batman uh, TV show. And the song's called Original Gangster Rap, which is crazy because I don't think rap existed back then. When was rap invented? Yeah, exactly. 1968. That's before 1980. Bro, this is the first instance of rap ever. This is history. Let's see if it's any good. All right. Oh, this one is pure style. The way the Joker is able to interweave words into satisfying lyrical concoctions is nothing to scoff at. He both created and peaked the genre of rap all in one go. This song is kind of like a curse. And I also like when the writers don't know what words to put, they just make him laugh a couple times in line with the beat. That's very clever. I can't believe Joker invented rap. That's like so much respect. Okay, they're getting really good now. You know what two sad sacks like us need? Night on the Town! Night on the Town, that's the name of the song! This song sounds pretty good. Uh, I like the duet bit the most. Okay, duet! Batman! One negative before I get to the rest of the good is I don't really think uh, the lyrics sound like the Joker for most of the time, so sorry. Comb your hair and paint and powder. You act proud and I like this also isn't an original song, which I didn't know until now. That's why they say setting the woods on fire when, in fact, they're uh, <laughs> in the streets of Gotham. No trees here. But nonetheless, the lyrics match the song just fine. And the creators of this episode even give the song more energy. It never hits crazy hard, but it does hit 
medium high, which is pretty good considering this song is a country song from 1952. In terms of the meaning, I think this is just a fun song, uh, and yeah, that translates to the audience. I was having fun. The visuals also assist that very nicely. Very fun visuals. Look at them dancing. It's also easy to sing along to. La 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 la. Yeah, see, like, it, it doesn't get much easier than that. Fun. Fun. Good song. Okay, now we got I Go Looney from Batman The Killing Joke. This is the first song to hit proper hard for me. That sounds nice. Yes. Ah, what the hell? I go it is one, an original song. The chorus is great. It feels grand. Mark Hamill also adds excitement to the song with his fun verbal flares like he does in Arkham Knight. He's also really good at keeping a mix between keeping the Joker voice alive and also singing really well. There seems to be some minor auto-tune uh, or effects on the Joker's voice to give this more of a musical movie vibe, but I like it. It's subtle, but it elevates it. Okay. The instrumentals are also better here than anywhere else. I feel like they're more carefully considered to elevate the performance rather than just existing for the beat. That bit was scripted if you couldn't tell. As a negative, the song gets a little slower and fractured towards the middle. When your kid turns blue, it won't worry you. But it picks up as soon as you start saying again. It really isn't that much of a big deal. This scene is clearly meant to be disturbing, as you can see here, which it does expertly, I might say. The sound effects and the visuals and the lyrics mixed with the cheery song does a really good job at communicating that. Good song. All right, now we got Smile, Darn Your Smile by The Joker from Batman Brave and the Bold. I've heard a little bit of it before. Uh, I've also heard various Batman Brave and the Bold songs, and they're usually pretty damn good. Okay. Okay. You can be a goody to uh. so smile, darn your smile. That sounds great. Follow my lead, recite my creed and smile. Oh my god, what is this Hamilton? He was rhyming just now. We're so back, Batman Brave and the Bold fans. I honestly didn't know you existed until the last video I made. Now I know you're here and I'm representing. Yeah, so this song is easily the best one out of all of these. It's original, it's highly produced. It's great. This was the song I was actually singing to myself while making this video. The instrumentals are great. The Joker voice actor is great. Honestly, maybe a little too great. Smile, smile. The vibrato! It's like, damn, the Joker, he kind of kills in this. Like, you just have to accept the Joker is a really good singer inexplicably in Brave and the Bold, but once you get past that, it's fine. You have to give it the pass. Look, look at this. Damn, dude. Oh my god. Oh my... He that pitch was crazy! <laughs> and it's not even like the Batman where it's just like a consistent, oh, that's obviously not the Joker singing. He still grounds the performance with his laugh or his weird inflections. Which, again, sound great. The lyrics are fun, no complaints. Smile, darn your smile is cool. Hits every time. Just smile, darn your smile. It's just a joyful song about smiling no matter what. And honestly, I think that's a message that we all should learn from the Joker. The visuals are also great. They managed to stand out among the rest by doing something a little more interesting than the Joker just singing on the stage. Like here, he gets big and then small and now he's floating. And here you see his name, but it's big. Super good stuff. Couldn't have thought of it myself. So that's it. That's all the Joker and Harley Quinn performances ranked. Do you agree with my list? Did I miss any? I'm actually super interested to hear that. Uh, I really hope I didn't. But if you do find one, put it in the comments and I will uh, place it in a ranking in the replies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And um, you know what? Smile. Darn you smile. All right. I did it, boys. I'm an inspiration.